I got my hands on the Genmu desktop CNC router because the marketing people at SaneSmart were so desperate to put them into people's hands that they would even give it to somebody whose reply to their email was, hey guys, that's not what CC is for. You should BCC all those email addresses. But hey, thanks for Uncle Jesse's email address. Now I'm going to bug him until he admits that we're besties in real life or blocks my email. Which he might have already done, actually. Hmm. At the Makerspace, we have access to a large format CNC machine, which is super cool, but despite having access to CNC, I've never really gotten into it. I think part of the thing is that I got so used to 3D printing, and 3D printing, despite borrowing a lot from CNC, for instance, G-Code was invented for CNC machines, but 3D printers added the slicer to it. And the slicer means that you can design your models in whatever you want, and then the slicer funnels it into your printer and you don't really have to worry about it. But not so with CNC. With CNC, you have to design with the process in mind, and you get your G-code from the design software that you use. So if your design software doesn't generate G-code for a CNC machine, then you're not making CNC cuts out of that design. Of course, there are a lot of design software that does create G-code for CNC machines. You can do it in Fusion 360, but myself, I kind of like easel by Inventables. It's super easy, super basic, and, and does the job extremely well. The other thing about CNC is I've never met a CNC machine that isn't headless. That is to say that you have to plug it into your computer and have your computer feed it the G-code line by line in order for it to run. It's just the idea of having an SD card where you load up your G-code, slap it in there, and let it run in the garage while you do something else with your computer just isn't done in the CNC world. And I don't really know why, except for the fact that this is probably not a process that you want to be too far away from. You know, in case your bit gets dull and it starts catching your material on fire or if something slips. This is a little bit more serious of a process than 3D printing is, and so you probably want to be close to it at all times. We built this at the Makerspace, put it together, did a couple of the test G-codes that came with it. This Dragon Cut is absolutely gorgeous. The level of detail, it took two and a half, three days to cut it all out at this resolution, but it's as good as I've seen any 3D print done and better than any CNC that I've seen done before. It was really impressive. But once we had done that, once we had put text onto something and cut it out, I really had no idea what to do with this machine next. CNC is not something that my mind automatically goes to when I think, man, I could use a solution for this problem. And maybe I should. There are advantages to building things out of a material that isn't laid down in a deposition way. I suppose this would be a perfect machine for taking some of these copper-plated circuit boards and, and cutting out the negative of them to create your own custom circuit boards. If that were something that I was into or were doing on a regular basis, I would probably be super excited about having and keeping this machine, but it's not. It's just not something that I do on a regular basis, so I'm kind of wondering what to do with it next. Still, maybe this is the technology for you, and maybe you already have great ideas of what you would do with this. Jump on to Easel by Inventables, give it a try, and if this clicks with you, hey, 200 bucks ain't a bad place to start. It is a little bit small in the build volume that it provides, but it's capable, and I've seen that already. If you want to find out more, of course, there will be a link in the description. Go check that out. Might even have a coupon code for you. But there you go. The Genmu CNC by Sane Smart. Capable. Cheap. I just don't know what to do with it. Before we go, check out this cool project on the What You Making channel on my Discord. Why don't you stop by and check out what other cool projects are there. And hey, if you share something you've done, maybe you'll see it in a future video too. Thank you very much for watching. Hey, if I mentioned anything in this video, you'll find a link to it in the cards and you should check that out. Did you know that I'm social? 
I've got links to all the socials and you should stop by and say hi. I really kind of enjoy it when that happens. Big thanks go out to my direct backers. And if you want to know more about how you can become that, there'll be a link right here that you can check out. And as always, I want to remind you safety first because I care about you and I'll see you next time. Oh, that's interesting. Classic one there.